Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, actually, this is my first video, so you are my first guests and uh, it's great to see you here and you are very welcome. I am Dmitry, I live at the middle of Russia, uh, that's why I decided to name my channel like stories from the Russian Outback. Uh, on my channel I'm going to tell you about a couple of my hobbies. I mean landscape photography and uh, handcrafting. Handcrafting I mean wood carving. Uh, today I want to uh, tell you how I will make a wood spoon with an owl. Owl, I mean wild bird. So, let's start. I drew a couple of uh, sketches just uh, for myself, uh, just uh, uh, for imagine how an owl can look like uh, on the spoon. So uh, you can see here on this sketch uh, I drew something like a spoon, spoon and I'm going to make something like tree trunk. Uh, and uh, an owl which will sit on the tree trunk on these uh, two bowl, bowls these two branches uh, of course uh, this is just a sketch uh, without any details and uh, honestly uh, Usually I uh, don't think about details uh, before I start working. Okay, I have uh, this wooden bar. I bought it in handcrafting store. Actually, uh, I can uh, make two different spoons from this bar if I cut it on two uh, equal parts. equal parts. I am looking on circles, wooden circles, uh, because uh, in future uh, these circles uh, will make uh, something like a picture, picture uh, on the surface of uh, my spoon. So well, uh, this part is going to be bottom. And uh, if imagine a spoon, it's going to be like this. Okay, first of all, I'm going to make a, a hole, a hole of of the spoon. 
it will be here everything I do by my hands so it's 100% uh, handmade uh, spoon okay and uh, about depth of my spoon in this part will be a handle I might mark a surface 24 millimeters here and uh, 24 millimeters here well the same mark from this side 24 millimeters Well, and uh, first of all, uh, as I told you, I am going to make uh, this part of a spoon. It will be here, so I should cut, cut this part. Now I can cut from this side.
I still do symmetrical lines, symmetrical cuts. And uh, usually I do more uh, deeper uh, this part of the spoon. Uh, here is handle and uh, this uh, part I will make more deeper. Okay guys. I finished uh, with uh, this part of the spoon and uh, uh, now I am going to work with uh, the most uh, difficult part Well guys, now all at this condition and uh, I think that I should start to work with the back part of this bar, uh, with back part of all and uh, spoon handle. So I'm going to cut back part
Well guys, I consider this spoon like finished. I mean, I finish uh, cut it and now I have to grind it to polish it with a special paper. I think uh, mostly I will polish this part like tree trunk and uh, the spoon. Well guys, uh, the work with the spoon is over. I polished it, uh, mostly this part and, uh, and all just a little bit. And I processed uh, the spoon with an oil uh, so it uh, became a bit uh, uh, brown and yellow and uh, uh, it's better uh, for uh, picture on its surface, a uh, natural picture like wooden circles, wooden structure uh, after processed uh, with oil it getting better of course uh, in my next video I will show you how I work with oil and uh, what exactly what uh, kind of oil I use. Uh, I should say that uh, uh, this is natural oil and uh, because I uh, consider uh, my spoons not like art object, uh, I think that uh, people will eat uh, with this, my spoons. Look at this again. Uh, this work took me about five hours. Not uh, that fast, but I wasn't uh, in rush. I worked uh, for fun. I, of course, I enjoyed uh, my work. So, and uh, I like this spoon. It's pretty, uh, pretty uh, beautiful and nice and cute. Hope you enjoy my video, so put your likes below, uh, write your comments, uh, share uh, this video with your friends and uh, maybe if you uh, still didn't uh, subscribe, maybe it's time to subscribe for my channel uh, and uh, I'll see you later in the next video, bye!